going from a world boxing station now going to, to being a promoter. Can you talk to me about that transition and the journey to, uh, to making that part of your life? Okay, I'm, well, now, now I'm a promoter and the transition is not really hard because I got a good partner. Uh, so, and, and, and having good people around you allow you to become who you are. Like, you know, like me starting boxing at the age of eight, it's the same thing. I had good people. So, don't nobody really go nowhere by themselves. I'm telling you, even though boxing is, boxing, everybody thinks it's an individual sport, but boxing works because you have a good team surround around you. So everything that I I became in life because I, I had formed a lot of group, good people around me. So now I'm in the boxing promotion, but I got a good group of people around me. And so when you, when you see that real deal entertainment, because it's not just me, but I'm the face, and and I I do know I know the fighters. I know how to pick out good fighters, and as as me bringing something to the table, being able to come in and being able to tell the fighters some things that they may not know, they may not understand right here at this time. Good fighters, they are ready, but of course I have to have relationship with they they previous coaches because. The point of me, I, I've been there. Jill. A lot of people have never been world champion. I've been world champion four times, but it, it's a knowledge and understanding you have to you have to give the young people. And and what 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 I bring to the game of boxing is trying to bring it back and put quality fighters on it, and you know not cheat. We can't cheat the fans. The fans want to see good fights. They say Evan the Holyfield fought everybody because I. It didn't make a difference because I realized that you never lose if you don't quit. And so you you have setbacks, but setbacks pays away for a comeback. And but people actually pay the the C box and they want to see you do something that they wouldn't do. You know, I don't sing well. I don't want to go to a concert that I can sing better than a person. I want to go to a concert that somebody sing better than me. I want somebody to hit a note that I can't hit. So you know, so the art of the game of boxing, the same thing. People want to see a fighter do something they they dare wouldn't do, and and these are the people they tend to support. My name is Jeremy J. Flash Nichols. I started boxing at 12 years old. I've been doing it on and off. I got real real serious at 18, and I ain't stopped now. Well, once I got the the, the calling for it, you know what I mean, because I thought football was it, I thought track was. But once I really got serious in boxing, I was like, yeah, this is what it is because I can punch somebody in the face and not get in trouble. And I can literally just keep punching in the face and just make it just so bad for you, not get in trouble for it. And, you know, growing up, I had a bad temper. I, w I was a very angry kid. So this boxing just changed my life and, and saved my life to, for the better. And I appreciate boxing. You know, I eat, sleep, drink this. I'm a full-time boxer and a full-time dad. This is all I do. When they told me that I was signing with Evander, I was like, that's dope. I never I never thought that that would happen, just like I never thought that I was going to spar with Mayweather. I used to always tell myself I was going to fight Mayweather, but I knew that wasn't going to happen because by the time I got up to that level, he'd have been gone, but I got the chance to work with him for the Pacquiao fight. So when they told me that, hey, we want you to go meet Evander Holyfield at the MGM because we're looking to, to you know go forward with you, I was like, that's mad dope. Let's go, you know. And and now we're moving forward. This is my second fight under under the um, real deal boxing. I would have had the hat on, but you know I got to represent J Flash Gang. Don't bang we in this thing. You know what it is. <laughs> and we just taking it full force. You know, they, I want everybody to know that real deal got a real deal fighter in J Flash Gang. My mind is that since I didn't handle Thanksgiving, I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of somebody. So the stuffing got to come out of, out of him, you know what I mean? No hard feelings. I'm going to respect the kid after the fight, but as soon as that bell ring, that's my Thanksgiving dinner. J Flash Gang don't bang, what's happening? We just won this thing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, what did they do? <laughs> I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling honored, I'm feeling blessed. Finally got back in the ring since June. We did what we had to do, you know what I mean? I got in there with a good competitive fighter, had like 30 fights. He knew how to survive, he knew how to be, you know, be a little sneaky, do a little tricks. But he, he came to fight, but he didn't come to win. Cause J Flash Gang don't bang, got that. We, we gonna keep doing it and keep building. 
Y'all stay tuned. Jay Flash ain't going nowhere, baby. This is what we do. Jay Flash gang don't bang what it do. Ah! My name is Poindexter Knight. I started boxing. I started competing when I was 10. I was training from 1 to 10 in the house. I won the 2017 National Golden Gloves after working hard and finally listening this year. So it's just about taking your time with things. So I got some things I want to do later on in life. So I, I'll say boxing is the outlet to doing the things I want to the things I want to do. So boxing plays a, a big role in my life. I love the training. The training is like training make it make it everything it is. You know what I'm saying? So like I just say the training, I love the support I get from my family and friends to, to keep me going. And it's, it's a tough sport, but that's why you have to train hard. And, and, and the most thing is discipline and, and listening. That's all you got to do. Just growing up, I didn't like I didn't want to like do the stuff I did growing up, like go to the gym every day. I wanted to be a kid. I wanted to be out and play with my friends, but. I had to sacrifice, so doing all them things, it just it just made me who I am today. Like, and then being from Philly, it's another pusher because it's a lot of stuff going on down there. Like, in the, in the bad environment, it's just like it's rotten. So for me to make it out and show these kids that it's, it's another way other than the streets, and, and doing other things like robbing people and stuff like that and, and killing each other, it's just it's just gotta stop. So. I'm already working on having my own gym and, and helping the kids. After I won the Nationals, I had a, a few people trying to get me, like Lou DiBella, top rank, and those top guys. But Holyfield was the number one guy that wanted me, so I kind of waited a couple months before I chose. You know I'm saying I just read over contracts and contracts and, and tried to get the best deal, and Holyfield had the best deal for me. So. I just, I just went with that. Like being, being young black, being young and black in the city of Philadelphia is hard. So for me to get get a promotional deal, it means a lot to me. I just went out there. I was being relaxed and comfortable. Got the win, so that's that's good for me. So we're working on the next date now. I'm feeling good. I just want to uh, stay stay humble and uh, keep working. You know. I'm on my way to the top, so it's gonna get harder and harder, so I just gotta train harder, and the fight's gonna be easy, so that's all I'm looking forward to. I wanna say thank you to my dad, my father's right here, my little brother, my cameraman, my stepmom. I wanna say thank you to all my fans out there, my, at home, my mom, my, my family, the gym, my city, like, that's all. On to the next one. My name is Demetrius Banks. I'm uh, from the inner city of Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I've been boxing for nine years now. I mean, I started boxing just trying to look for an opportunity, a way out, and a way to provide, create opportunity for the inner city youth. I feel like, man, if you could survive in Detroit, man, you could pretty much survive anywhere, man. Like, people would ask me, like, why do I take the fights I take? But I'm like, it's just a fight, you know? It's, a guy, he don't have a gun, he don't have a knife, it's not a gang of him, you know what I'm saying? Where coming where I'm coming from, you know, I, I lost a lot of people, you know, in the streets, you know, to gun violence and everything, so it's, you know, crazy. So, bo boxing is simple, you know. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not going to say I love to fight, but I love to compete, and, and I do it for a reason, you know. Uh, relentless determination, that's my stamp. I mean, I have it, have it on my back, you know, but, yeah, that's it's, it it's, uh, has a lot of meaning, you know. Man, it's it's crazy and it's like so surreal because I remember back, like what, 92, 93 maybe, I was playing the Sega, real deal boxing, Evander Holyfield, you know, and and then able to have the opportunity to work with this guy, it's just awesome, like a dream come true, man. It's like time to seize the moment. I'm just creating opportunities, you know, and it's really not about myself. Like I say, I'm doing this to create opportunity. Mi chiamo Fabio Turchi, sono di Firenze. Italiano, sempre fatto il pugilato perché mio padre era un pugile professionista e fin da bambino mi ha portato in palestra. Ho iniziato il primo anno da, nella fase dei 13-14 anni e ho vinto subito i campionati italiani. Sono entrato nella squadra nazionale e ho fatto molta esperienza con la squadra olimpica italiana. Dopo aver vinto 
tanti tornei a livello internazionale ho deciso di passare professionista. Sono carico, sono orgoglioso di poter combattere negli Stati Uniti, combattere sotto gli occhi di Evander Holyfield che è stato fin da quando ho iniziato un idolo è il massimo per me. E mi ha insegnato a rispettare i più deboli e ad essere una persona equilibrata. Personalmente credo che da dilettante potevo ottenere di più perché non ho partecipato alle Olimpiadi di Rio 2016. Voglio, voglio rifarmi da professionista conquistando il titolo mondiale. I'm John Vincent Moralde from Philippines in Davao City. I'm six years old, I start in boxing and then boxing and track and field. I have two sports before when I was a kid and 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 I focus into boxing because uh, in track and field they're not good not good for me, not good sport because sometimes our our opponents are opponents are uh overage, you know. Like, So that's why I love boxing. Before my my cousin is a boxer. He, he encouraged us to fight and then, then my first fight I won. Then Rikuti is won and then that's why I that's why I'm here. I, I feel very happy because I, I they give me a chance to fight here. I, I want to let them see what what's my What's my style? What's my what's my movement in the fight? And I want to prove that I'm good. I'm a good boxer. My name is Toka Khan Clary. I've been boxing for 11 years now. Um, I'm signed with Real Deal Vendor Holyfield team. Uh, I train out of Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm 24 and one with 17 knockouts. Just what was tonight like? Obviously, uh, fighting in your hometown. Uh, it was a great feeling fighting in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, I had a lot of support, a lot of fans. And I'm just happy to be home. I'm happy to be here in a positive position, doing something positive. I have a lot of people who came out and showed me support. And I just feel great right now. Makes the victory a little extra sweet to do it in front of your loved ones, right? Yes, sir, definitely. Talk about getting another belt and adding to the uh, case, the trophy case there. Well, definitely. It feels good to get one of these green ones, you know? I watch a lot of fight on TV. I see a lot of guys getting these belts. And I'm happy to be in the same position I see these guys in. And we're going forward, you know? We just got to keep winning, keep doing, doing positive things. What's some advice that Evander's given you since working with him that you've uh, put into your uh, put into your uh, routine here? Well, the, 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 the lot of these, we gotta get them all. <laughs> he said, keep keep piling them up, keep getting every one of them. And the way he did it, you know, he fought everybody, and that's what we want to do. We want to fight all the champions. That's the only way to get recognition in boxing. You know, you gotta fight all the top fighters. You can't you can't get to the world titles if you won't fight none of the top fighters. And I feel like my team and not. We, we keep working hard and I feel like we're ready for one of those guys. I feel blessed, you know. I feel real blessed. But I'm from a little state where the biggest haul comes from, you know. And they showed it tonight. I have everybody, all my friends and my family, everybody I grew up with, teachers I went to school with, was in the fan. I'm 25, I haven't been in school for a long time and they're still here showing me love, you know. And I'm just blessed to have that, have that, have that, that fan base and the love that they're showing me out here. I'm blessed. Well, we had a good night. We had a good night, uh, you know, and all the guys that we thought would win won, and they 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 won in good fashion. But everybody stepped up another level, you know, to 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 be a champion. You had you had to fight competition, and 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 one thing that I I I, I, I tell my you know my my fighters, and I say, look. I said, look, I can't make you a champion. I can give you an opportunity. You got to win. You got to win. And like this thing, Pinyanka, don't nobody tell nobody. Everybody make somebody like, I'm going to make you a champion. You know, I, shit, I can't make you a champion. I give you an opportunity. And that's how hard you work. And do you listen? Do you follow direction? And so when, when all these things, it, it'll show you how good you are. Because if I can still do what I can, if I can, do what I used to do, I would go ahead and do it, make the money myself. I, I got the knowledge, but you know, I don't have the youth. And so, you know, that's the whole big thing about, you know, I, I give you the information, can you apply this information and use it to to, to your, your, your best of being a champion?